Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. There are lots of ways to look at number 10 here, so we're going to just pick one of them. It says that they have a goal of reaching $3,500. After three hours, they've raised $2,275. Which statement's accurate? Well, this is more than halfway. Definitely, we can see that right off the bat. So they have raised 35% of their goal would be too low, and they have raised less than half of their goal would be wrong as well. So we're left between this 7 over 20 of their goal left to raise, or more than 3 fourths of their goal has been raised. Well, let's look at this 3 fourths. In that case, we're looking at about 75%, or if we were to divide this by 4. Well, if I put this as 3,600 divided by 4, that might be a little bit easier, because that's 900 even. And when we do that, we realize that it would be about 2,700 to reach three-fourths of it. And we're not there yet or close to it with our rounding, so that's out as well, meaning our answer is B. So during exercise, it says that a person's heart rate should be between 60% and 90% of the difference between 220 and the person's age. So we need to find the maximum heart rate of someone who is 30 years old. Well, first off, the difference between the two, so that means 220 minus 30, which would give us 190. Now the maximum is going to be the top side, so we're looking at 90% of this guy down here. Well, 90% is the same thing as multiplying by 0 0.90, or just 0 0.9, and so let's go ahead and do that. 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 9 is 81, and 9 times 1 is 9, plus that 8 is going to give us 17. Move the decimal over 1 because of the decimal right here, and our final answer is 171, which is C. So in this question, they give you two heights, five foot and six foot, and then they give you two weights that go with those, respectively 110 and 170, and they want you to know 5'5". Five, five. Now, the common mistake here is people will go, oh, well, 5'5 five, is in between those two, so what's in between these two numbers? Well, 140 is. But here's where the problem is. This is not in the middle. When you're talking about inches, it's out of 12, not a base 10. So this is actually less than half halfway, but more than a third. Well, 140 would be halfway between the two, and 130 would be a third of the way between the two, so our answer must be C, 135. Number seven is just asking us to find the new price now that it's 30% off. So start off with $220, and there's two ways you could do this. You could either multiply that by 0 .30 for the 30%, and then subtract that from your original, or, since it's 30% off, that means it's 70% of the original price, adding to 100%. So we can just do this times 0 0.70. Well, 0 0.70 is the same thing as 0 0.7, so we're just going to multiply by that to find out 70%, which is our new price. So first off, 7 times 0 is just 0. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 times 2 is 14 again, plus the 1 is 15. We have one decimal point here, so we move, need to move it over 1, meaning this is $154, which is answer B. Six is all about understanding fractions of a whole, so it says that half of the students in a school are female. All right, so one half of them are female. It says one twelfth of them are from outside the state. So what proportion of the students would you expect to be females from outside the state? So here's the situation. One twelfth of them are from outside the state, and we know that half of this school is male and half is female, so we would assume that the one twelfth, half of those will be female. So what's half of one over 12? Well, we can just multiply these straight across to get that answer. So that's gonna give me one on the top, two times 12 is gonna give me 24. So our final answer here is B. Hey guys, that's all we're gonna cover for today. But remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.